Hey guys, it's Brian, Center Consoles Only here. We're at Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Today we're in the convention center and currently on a 2022 272cc by Blackfin Boats. Very sharp looking. Why don't you come on up here and join me? It is twin 300 V8 Verado powered. This particular vessel is 27 foot long and nine foot four beam. With a beam like this, you get a lot of space. I like it. This is a very good entry level boat. Boat show price around 245. Uh, they're asking for this particular model. We'll get started here at the transom. You'll see we've got rod holders built in, a dive door. Currently, you're actually standing on our dive ladder, which is a nice little removable piece, which I'll show you here. Actually, just lift and slide it right on out. It is a side entry. It's kind of nice to keep you away from the propellers. You still have space to walk back here on the transom, service engines, or do whatever you need to do back there. Again, you got your rod holders here. You got transom seating, which I will demonstrate here. It is a two-hand job, but nothing that you can't do fairly easily. The hinges are very, very nice, very tight, which I absolutely like. Sometimes those get a little bit rough, but in this case, very, very nice. Got a single live well on this particular boat. Also got a good amount of cockpit space here, actually. Um, as I'm looking forward, I'm seeing a starboard top here on what seems to be similar to a cutting station and prep station. You actually have a sink below running water here, which is really sweet. You've got some knife holders, you've got some uh, spots for some other tackle there, uh, as well as storage below, which is really nice, and a slide out cooler beneath there. It's pretty, pretty clean function, totally functional cockpit. As we open up here, go ahead and get these two opened up. See if I can pop that one up. Ah, there we go. And you'll see the access here to the bilge. You've got all your pumps very nice and clean. It's actually a finished bilge, which is unusual. Typically, this is gonna be just a painted area, but this is actually a bucket they drop in, which is really, really nice. Uh, one of the cleaner ones that, uh, that we've seen. Everything nicely labeled, very easy access to your electronics or electrical components, switching, rigging, very, very clean. And they're using, looks like PEX and PEX style um, fittings, which is, is really easy to work on. Pretty much anybody can do it. Uh, and very, very little uh, maintenance issues to deal with there. So that's a pretty cool option. Go ahead and close that back up. Nice, cool, uh, actually different style latches, pretty neat. Uh, as you look on the gunnel, you've got rod storage on either side. You've also got your fresh water on the starboard side, your raw water on the port side. It's uh, pretty typical here. Alrighty, so you do have anchor points, cleats at uh, down at the aft here. You've got your slide through there, it's really clean. And this is interesting actually. As we come forward, you'll notice here we've got a platform. And I guess this is to give you just a bit more height, a little bit more visibility over the console, which is not high at all. It's kind of cool that they've got that feature there. Let's see what it looks like here. And we'll close it up, it is magnetic and they've got a foot rest beneath that, which I can not seem to figure out right here, but hey, it's there. Actually, I take it back. That's part of your foot, uh, the kickstand for this piece to help you stay up. So get back here, helm pad, you still got a lot of space, which is kind of neat. Uh, dual screen, simple switching, fusion stereo, very clean. Also always a fan of the storage, as you see there. Clean throttles mounted over to the left. Got a dash pad here, similar to the way that a car would be outfitted, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and obviously, the obligatory uh, compass. As we move forward, you'll see you have a small window here for the head. You have onboard charging, which is an absolute must. Large forward seating, which is great. In this particular case, uh, let's see what we got here. This is, there we go, it's cooler. Pretty sweet, I love these taco latches that make our lives very, very simple when accessing these single hand operation. Notice you have a ton of storage here, your loungers that are built in, your anchor locker storage, and you have a connection for 
a seat and also an insert for a complete lounger. Now in the deck, we do have, again, another finished bucket. Very, very nice. These finished storage spaces do wonders uh, for cleaning. Things uh, slide off finished gel coat surfaces way easier than just the bilge coat painted ones. As we move aft, we see the patent pending door design from Blackfin, which is actually pretty cool. It's on a hinge, pla hinge platform here that allows it to kind of tuck up out of the way. You have a very nice sized head. Your switching is just behind the console here in this space. Very, very nice and clean. Step down, access to your batteries and storage for your table, the bow table, um, which is really, really nice. And closing it is as simple as a single hand operation here with a couple of latches, which is kind of cool the way that they operate there. Very, very neat with, by the Blackfin family. As we move back, we've got our one big fish box here. I had left the latches open to make it easier to open up. You can see you got a big fish box and that ends up about a foot forward that way. Uh, so you've got easily uh, six, five, six feet of fish box there. Again, very neat latches on this one. Locking there, pretty, pretty easy to keep clean and uh, actually flush fit, so very, very nice. Again, guys, this is the 2022 272cc by Blackfin. Sweet little setup, great boat, about two, 245-250K uh, boat show price. Uh, this is at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. I'm Brian with CCO. Guys, if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon for our notifications when we launch new walkthroughs. We appreciate you and have a great day.